History made. We said it time and time again throughout UC's unprecedented football season, but I spoke to one man with ties to the team stemming all the way back to the 1940s who says he's never seen this Bearcats team like this. It's been a lot leading up to this, and this week's been, it's been the wildest thing I've ever seen. Jim Kelly hasn't seen it all. He has seen plenty when it comes to UC football. The highs. The UC Bearcats are 13-0 and, and will compete for a national championship. And the lows. First as a coach's son, then a player, before a coach himself, and now as the radio analyst for Bearcats football. Lows like losing the 1991 season opener, 81-0 to zero to Penn State. You know, I had the opportunity to broadcast that game, which was, uh, you know, fun. The fun for Kelly and his family extends before he was even born. His father played for Hall of Fame coach Sid Gilman in 1949 and 1950. Kelly followed the same route as his wide receiver playing father, also playing receiver for UC beginning in 1972. Big early memories I have are being a ball boy down there in that, that 68 year. Uh, that was the year that Greg Cook was the senior there, and they led the, uh, they led the nation in offense. The program seemed cooked through the years. There were talks to kill UC football after Kelly graduated in 1976 wanted to drop football, um, then, then the stadium got condemned. So there were, some, there were some bleak years. Slowly, the program was rebuilt, starting in 1993 with an 8-3 season. Rick Mincer, who joined the call with me and Kelly, is the coach who led UC back to its first bowl game in 47 years when the Bearcats played in the 1997 Humanitarian Bowl. By 2008, UC football was playing against the best in the Sugar and Orange Bowls. Today, the program has landed softly with the Cotton Bowl date on New Year's Eve. They're able to do this and move on to Indy. Unbelievable.